You were lied to about 10,000 steps. You hear it all the time. Everyone should get 10,000 steps per day. But that number wasn't based on any studies or clinical trials. It was just a marketing ploy back in 1960s when a Japanese pedometer company gave their product a name that literally translates to 10,000 step meter because the Japanese character for 10,000 resembles a person walking. It was a very clever branding and the number stuck. But do you really need to walk 10,000 steps per day? Well, as with just about anything in health, there's a lot more nuance to this. And your step count may depend on what you're trying to achieve, but spoiler alert, you do not need anywhere near 10,000 steps to get the most benefits. And I wanna take this further and talk about two techniques that will supercharge your results in less than half the time it takes you to do 10,000 steps. So I'll share with you a progression technique that I personally use, and it's a technique that I recommend to most of my patients. And it's a technique that's based on the Japanese interval walk training or IWT and it's also based on the Norwegian 4x4 protocol and compared to regular walking these techniques will double your aerobic capacity and they'll help you improve your glucose control it will do a much better job in regulating your blood pressure and it can even reverse heart aging by two decades so first how many steps do you actually need to get the most benefit well recent large-scale meta-analyses and cohort studies show that your risk reduction for all-cause mortality and cancer cancer and type 2 diabetes and dementia, the benefits start at just 2,500 to 4,000 steps. And obviously you get more benefits with more steps, but these benefits start plateauing at about 7,000 steps. So for most people, 7,000 steps per day is enough for real meaningful health benefits. Now don't get me wrong, the more steps, the better. And you'll get more benefits at 10,000 steps and you'll get even more benefits at 15,000 steps. But the problem is it takes a long time to get that many steps in. I mean, unless you live in a walkable city or you can walk to work or to your grocery store. But for most of us in the US, that's just not the case. And time is our limiting factor. So this is where techniques like the Japanese interval walking training can really help, where you get even more benefits with just a fraction of the time. And here's how it works. Instead of chasing an arbitrary step goal, you just add intensity. All you have to do is walk normally for three minutes. And then you walk at a brisk pace, like you're late for a meeting for another three minutes. And then you repeat that five times for a total of 30 minutes. And that's it, and you're done. And it's just those few minutes of intensity is what makes all the difference. Because we have studies that show that interval walking training can double the improvement in your aerobic capacity compared to just normal walking. And then just two weeks of interval training will give you significant improvements in insulin sensitivity and glucose control, even when the calories burned are the same. And then the benefits go beyond blood sugar. In this study, uh, both regular walking and IWT have been shown to help cognition, but with interval walking training, you can also get improvement in arterial stiffness, which will help you lower your blood pressure and reduce your risk of heart attacks and strokes. And then you even see additional benefits when it comes to muscle strength and the quality of life. So let's tally up all the benefits with just 30 minutes of interval walking, which is less than half the time it takes you to walk 7,000 steps. You get improvements in all of these areas. Now let's take this one step further, the Norwegian 4x4 protocol. This is where we're moving from just general movement to a very powerful and a very efficient way to exercise. So think of it as the next level on the spectrum from regular walking to interval training to structured high intensity intervals. And here's the surprising part, just a small dose of intensity goes a very long way. One of the biggest misconceptions people have about exercise is that you need hours in the gym or you need endless mileage on the road to get meaningful results. But the research shows otherwise. In fact, there's a small but a randomized control trial that showed that just 10 minutes of interval training was enough to improve aerobic fitness and blood pressure and even glycemic control. So the Norwegian 4x4 takes this principle and it builds it into a structured, clinically tested format. So it looks like this. After a few minutes of warm up, you do four minutes of high intensity work, followed by three minutes of active recovery. And you repeat that four times. So that's only 16 minutes of actual high intensity effort in a 35 to 40 minute session. And most people try to do that at least twice per week. But here's something to understand. High intensity does not mean sprinting until you collapse. The key here is working hard enough to where you can actually last for the full four minutes. So for beginners, the four minutes of intensity could just be a brisk walk or it could be just you walking uphill. Um, and as your fitness improves, 
it might turn into jogging or cycling or rowing anything that gets the intensity to at least 85 to 95 percent of your maximum heart rate and the outcomes of doing this are unbelievable so there was one study it was published in circulation in 2018 where the researchers found that sedentary adults who adopted the 4x4 protocol reversed their equivalent of 20 years of heart aging in just two years so the participants blood vessels became more elastic and their blood pressure dropped and their vo2 max increased by 18 percent so the median age of participants was 53 but after two years of doing that exercise their cardiovascular profile looked more like that of 30 year olds and this increase in vo2 max deserves special attention because your vo2 max in case you didn't know is just a measure of the maximum amount of oxygen your body can use during exercise or it's a measure of how efficiently your body can use oxygen now vo2 max is not just about how fast you can run or how fast you can bike it's actually one of the strongest predictors of how long you will live because we have studies that show that people with higher vo2 max levels live longer and they have a much lower risk of dying from heart disease and stroke and diabetes and even cancer in fact low cardiorespiratory fitness is linked to higher risk of death than smoking or diabetes or high blood pressure and meta-analyses of cohort studies show that moving from low to high cardiorespiratory fitness is associated with a whopping 50 percent reduction in all-cause mortality where you basically cut your risk of dying from any cause in half so the way to think about it is vo2 max is like your body's health savings account or it's your emergency fund the higher it is the more reserve you have to handle stress and illness and just normal aging and physiologically better vo2 max means your heart pumps more blood with each beat and your lungs are able to pull more oxygen more efficiently and that in turn lets your muscles become much better at utilizing that oxygen and once again it doesn't take hours just two to three 40 minute sessions per week can completely transform your heart and reverse your heart aging because intensity as it turns out is that great shortcut in exercise science and it's much needed because time is our most valuable resource and for most of us we have to work smart to get more benefits in less time now let's connect this back to the spectrum on one end you have walking and it's foundational and it matters a lot you cut your risk of all-cause mortality by 50 to 70 percent just from going from sedentary to getting 7,000 steps per day and then comes the Japanese technique of interval walking training where you add little bursts of speed walking and just doing 30 minute sessions you basically double all the benefits you get from walking and finally at the high end you have the Norwegian 4x4 which is just a quick and efficient way to improve your cardiovascular health and you can pull any of those three levers depending on where you are in your fitness journey or what you're trying to achieve all right i hope this was helpful stay healthy and i'll see you in the next one